Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Woo. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. And today we've had the news that many of us have been waiting for. And that is title update 5, skill power is coming back, baby. That's what we've all been waiting for for so long now. Since March, where it's a DPS meta, then it turns into a tank meta. And title update 5, they've decided will be the skill build meta. That's for sure. I've been campaigning for a long time now to see the reintroduction of skills in the Division 2. Please make them as powerful as the Division 1 because they were insane. They were fantastic. And it was another added bonus to the Division 1 if you could run dozens of fantastic builds in the Division 1 and you could be absolutely viable in any content. Whereas the Division 2, we'll just look at the raid as an example. It's DPS. It's damage to elites. That's it. There is no build diversity in the raid. They have recognized this. Massive have said, yep, future raids could be a skill build. That's what you could be working towards. It could be a skill based meta. It could be uh, go all survival and go even tank based. This is, it's, it has to be diverse. It has to be. You know, a raid, mechanic heavy. Uh, skills should play a part in the raid in the minute. It is just DPS and damage to elites are the only thing that will see you through the raid. But anyway, moving forward, skills, that's what we want to talk about today. Title of day five is around the corner. PTS is coming very, very soon. The bits and bobs they've given us, which are juicy information, which I want to break down now for you guys, is that skills are back. They are most definitely going to be the go-to click to have on your build it is definitely what you want to look at in particular first thing i want to say is cooldown reduction there have been plenty of people who have talked about this and when they've talked about builds and and whether it be the hive skill or it be the seekers um and the cooldown reduction varies from skill to skill and the thing that again um, frustrated me is they changed it they changed the name of cooldown reduction from the division one from school from skill haste which was completely boggled me in all honesty because skill haste I, I understand that I get it completely as did most of the community um, it became cooldown reduction well one too happy but skill haste is coming back which is great and skill haste will now scale with skill power which is even better and your skill haste i.e. cooldown reduction, can go above 100%. So we just have the potential to make some absolutely deadly builds, insane builds. You know, expect to see a bucket load of insane build videos on this channel in the coming weeks. And especially when Title Update 5 hits, expect to see the weird and wonderful. It is going to be like Moulin Rouge without, <laughs> without you and McGregor, you know? But there's so many ideas that I have that I want to bring to the table uh, that I've thought about and I've tested and they're okay. They, they do a decent job. But now, Tell Update 5, they will become insane. Shield builds. D3. And if we go back to the Division 1, the D3 gear set was fantastic. You were the tank. You could tank through the most difficult of content because you were the machine. And you would buff your teammates. And you compare that to the shield in the Division 2. And you are hopped in a piece of paper against challenging enemies. And you are down with... It is really, really silly. But it's coming back. It really is. There was an example on today's uh, state of the game. In terms of the time to kill against you. Facing an enemy. Your shield was gone in 3 or 4, 5 seconds. Whereas the new shield, 25 seconds plus... And that's you just standing there and tanking that damage. Awesome. And that's what we want to see from a shield build. That brings up great ideas, awesome diversity for the player base. Kudos massive. Can't wait to get, get on my hands on this. And builds are coming. Skills. We'll get back to skills. Now, in terms of how they will buff skills, first and foremost, you look in. And we, we spoke about skill haste. Skill haste is going to improve. But the mods will be buffed significantly. So at the minute, for example, my Seeker build, I will have mods around 25 to 28.8% damage. You can expect these mods to be more so 100% damage. And perhaps even higher. Insane. It is. 
And that's exactly what the community have been asking for for a long time, is to have skills that are as powerful as gear, as powerful as, powerful as weapons. And that's the one thing they will be looking at for sure, is that they want to make skills as powerful as weapon damage. There or thereabouts, we'll see. Your weapons are again doing two, three million DPS. You know, if you if you search YouTube, you search your best build in the division, uh, you'll see many PC content creators creating. Here's my 2.8 billion headshot build. Boom, part eight. You know, frustrating because it's just it's a PC build, headshot damage, rah rah rah, this that and the other. Okay, not interested. What I'm interested in is creating insane damage with your skills and that's the way to do it in my opinion yes we can all build armor and build dps but skills have a special place in my heart as they do yours and guys they're coming back skill damage is going to go through the bloody roof and i cannot wait the skills again are going to be buffed each and every single one of them we've seen firefly recently in the last update uh firefly has had that buff and it, it feels a lot more powerful it's gone from the bottom of the ladder in terms of skills to top two or three in all honesty it is if you learn how to use it and master it is a very useful skill to have on your side and it synergizes perfectly with the seekers or the drone um, really good skill to have again all these are going to be reworked all these are going to be more powerful and again kudos to frederick julian Te even terry spires the guys at the heart of this who are making some really sound decisions my only frustration it being it is three months on when it should have happened initially these are the type of ideas that should have been there from the off unfortunately not however players that love the division one and love the skill builds there have, have maybe gone away they've gone to different games you know maybe gone back to div one who knows um but once they're aware of this once they know that skill builds are back and are going to be super strong in my opinion they'll be more powerful than the division one by far this is great news absolutely great news we're looking at 30 percent increase on skill haste as well which is great um you go on you know you have to spec pretty much everything you have into cooldown reduction to have a build where your skill skill power is quite low in all fairness um that is no more you get a 30 percent buff which is great absolutely great for the game and exactly what we need guys i'm excited genuinely excited for this because this is the update that i've been waiting for uh, that, that many of us skill players have been waiting for as well the skills are going to be obviously buff beyond the roof um yeah i am like the kid in the sweet shop there's a lot of great ideas coming and guys what do you think is this the news that will bring you back to division two if you've gone if you're playing something else i don't know if you're playing tetris or or whatever on your phone candy crush is it time to come back and play division two because skills are back and i'm back with a bang guys let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video, drop a like or see more Division 2 content, smash the sub button. And believe you me, you will see some kick-ass builds in the future. Some gameplay. Screw these heroic missions. Skill builds are coming for you. Guys, take it easy. See you in the next one.